Hello and welcome to The Power Play. I'm Daniela Atkinson and joining me here today is CEO of Else Nutrition Holding, Hamotel Yitzhak. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi Daniela, it's a pleasure to be with you, here, uh, with you here and thanks for having me. Of course, so you have just closed your public offering of $7.35 million. What will this now allow the company to do? Uh, sure, so the use the use of proceeds that will support our current robust North American retail expansion uh, that will be soon communicated to our investors. Stay tuned. We will build the inventory for the growing demands, which even now we find hard to meet. We will also support uh, the several clinical studies uh, that are right about to start in the coming couple months, both for toddler and growth, uh, toddler growth and infant growth. And the cost of these clinical studies increased quite substantially due to recent market conditions. Uh, we will also use the proceeds for marketing support in North America, as well as in the new markets we are expanding into uh, Canada, China, uh, Europe, and Australia. And we also consider a small investment in our own manufacturing capabilities on top of the one that we already done this year in a facility that processes our proprietary demineralized buckwheat for the commercial production of the infant formula. I think more or less this is the this is what we will do with the funding with the funds. That's great. And the market seemed to overreact to the initial announcement. Would you like to address the sudden raise now? Sure. So we really appreciate all our investors support over the past years. Um, we did anticipate that there would be a not so positive reaction from some investors. Our intention was not and has never been to slap our loyal investors, although some of them thought so. Um, it may not seem so, but we take all our investors into consideration when we make funding decisions. We, we thought long and hard before we made this decision. And our foremost concern is to protect the viability of the company and in return, protect everyone's investment in the longer run. So we contemplated many, many things before making the decision to do this funding. Since the last financing else has continued to grow and expand faster than we anticipated. Although this is positive, costs for everything have gone up due to supply chain issues, inflation, energy costs and demand we're expanding into additional markets outside of North America and will incur costs that have increased. Um, the costs for our FDA and other trials that I just mentioned have also increased. Given the market conditions, we are not sure what the next six to 12 months will be for funding and cannot risk running out of funds. This small funding is to augment uh, the growing costs and reduce capital risk. We thought carefully before deciding. Uh, waiting and relying on market conditions to improve was a risk we did not want to take. We are confident that this is the right decision to continue to grow and expand. Our intention is to protect investors' investment, and the best way to do this is to continue to grow the business. We explored uh, many avenues for funding, including debt, convertible debt, and equipment funding, in the current environment, these other options were not available. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Hamotel. Until next time, I'm Daniela Atkinson for The Power Play.